plane mirror. A mirror with a flat reflective surface is called a plane mirror. Uses of plane mirrors. 1. They are used in dressing table as looking glass. 2. Barbers use a second mirror to show the back of the head to the customers. 3. They are used as mirrors in periscope and kaleidoscope. 4. They are also used in solar cookers to reflect sun rays towards the vessel to be heated. 5. They are used to provide false dimensions in showcases such as in jewellery houses. Do you know? The main mirror of the Hubble Space Telescope has a diameter of 2.4 meters. It is designed to collect as much light as possible from distant stars and galaxies. Characteristics of the image formed by a plane mirror The image formed by a plane mirror has these characteristics. 1. The size of the image is same as the size of the object. 2. The image formed by the plane mirror is erect. 3. The image formed by a plane mirror is a virtual image, which cannot be taken on the screen. 4. The image formed by the plane mirror is laterally inverted, that is, the right side appears to be left side and left side appears to be right side. 5. The image is situated at the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of it, that is, Image distance from the mirror is equal to object distance from the mirror. Lateral inversion Take a plane mirror. Write a letter P on a plain white paper. Put it in front of the mirror. In the mirror, the image of letter appears as This is due to a property of the image produced by the plane mirror called lateral inversion. There is a point correspondence between the object and its image in a plane mirror. So, the left side of the object appears as the right side of the object in its image in the mirror or the reflecting surface. All images formed by plane mirrors are laterally inverted. When reflection of light takes place in a plane mirror, the left-hand side of the object appears as right-hand side of the image and vice versa. This phenomenon is called lateral inversion. Cause of lateral inversion Lateral inversion occurs due to the fact that the image of an object in a plane mirror is formed as far behind the mirror as the object is in front of it. Application Generally, the word ambulance is printed laterally inverted in front of an ambulance. This is done intentionally so that the driver of the vehicle moving in front of the ambulance reads it in the right way in his rear view mirror and gives sight pass to the ambulance. Real and Virtual Images The image which can be obtained on a screen is called a real image. It is formed when light rays after reflection actually intersect. The image which cannot be obtained on a screen is called a virtual image. It is formed when light rays after reflection do not intersect or appear to diverge. When they are produced at the back, they intersect. This is shown in the figure. We can differentiate between real and virtual images as given here. Real image, virtual image. 1. The rays of light after reflection actually meet at a point. 1. The rays of light after reflection appear to meet at a point. 2. It can be obtained on a screen. 2. It cannot be obtained on a screen. 3. It is always inverted. 3. It is always erect. 4. The image is formed in front of the mirror. 4. The image is formed behind the mirror. Spherical mirror A mirror with a spherical surface is called a spherical mirror. Spherical mirrors are of two types, concave mirror and convex mirror. Speed of light The speed of light in vacuum 
commonly denoted by C is a universal physical constant important in all areas of physics. Its exact value is 29 crore 97 lakh 92,548 meter per second approximately 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meter per second. According to special relativity, C is the maximum speed at which all matter and hence information in the universe can travel. It is the speed at which all massless particles and changes of the associated fields travel in vacuum. It appears in the famous equation of mass energy equivalence. E is equal to mc square. It is generally assumed that fundamental constants such as C have the same value throughout space-time, meaning that they do not depend on location and do not vary with time. Primary colors RGB Primary colors are basic colors which cannot be obtained by mixing any other colors. But by mixing these colors in varied proportion, all other colors can be produced. Red, green, blue are primary colors. Almost all the colors of light can be obtained by mixing any two or three in varied proportion. If all the colors are mixed in equal proportion, we get white light. Red plus green plus blue is equal to white. Opaque objects An opaque object owes its color to the constituents of white light it reflects to the eyes. If white light is made to fall upon a sheet of white paper, it appears white because it reflects all the colors falling on it. A blackboard appears black, it observes all colors and reflects none. White paper will appear yellow in yellow light and green in green light. If red paper is placed in white light, it appears red because it absorbs all colors except red. The property of a body to reflect a particular color is known as selective reflection. The color of an opaque object depends upon the color of light which is capable of reflecting. Formation of secondary colors by color addition Secondary colors are those which can be obtained by mixing two primary colors. Example, red plus green is equal to yellow. Red plus blue is equal to magenta. Green plus blue is equal to cyan. Also, blue plus yellow is equal to white. Red plus bluish green is equal to white. Green plus magenta is equal to white. Again, red plus green plus blue is equal to white. Color subtraction Secondary colors can be obtained by subtracting one primary color from white. White minus green is equal to magenta, red plus blue. White minus red is equal to cyan, green plus blue. White minus blue is equal to yellow, red plus green. Complementary colors Any two colors which on combination give rise to white light are called complementary colors. Red and cyan, blue and yellow, green and magenta are complementary pairs of colors. Appearance of color of an object An object has no color of its own. Then why we observe them as colored objects? Let us study it for transparent and opaque objects. Transparent objects The transparent solids and liquids held in the path of light owe their color to the constituents of white light transmitted by them. A green filter absorbs all other colors except green which it transmits. This green is again transmitted by second green filter but is stopped by red. Again, if first filter is blue and second red, no light will be there on the other side of second filter. This property of a body to transmit a particular color is known as selective transmission. The color of transparent bodies depends upon the color of light which it is able to transmit. Translucent objects 
The adjective translucent is derived from Latin translucens means shining through. The translucent objects allow light to pass through, but objects on other side can't be seen clearly. Example, butter paper, ground glass, etc. The difference between transparent and translucent objects is a transparent object allows to see the objects on the other side clearly, but a translucent object can't. Opaque objects An opaque object owes its color to the constituents of white light it reflects to the eyes. If white light is made to fall upon a sheet of white paper, it appears white because it reflects all the colors falling on it. A blackboard appears black it observes all colors and reflects none. White paper will appear yellow in yellow light and green in green light. If red paper is placed in white light, it appears red because it absorbs all colors except red. The property of a body to reflect a particular color is known as selective reflection. The color of an opaque object depends upon the color of light which is capable of reflecting.